Greetings everyone, Archimedes here, and welcome back to another Brickfield Lego video. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at how I designed the Argo 2, my latest Mayan creation. So, let's get started, shall we? Here is my model of the Argo 2 from Rick Riordan's Mythological Universe. You might have heard of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, or the Heroes of Olympus. Anyways, the Argo 2 is a giant Greek trireme, a warship that's designed to sail to Greece and Rome to battle monsters and do heroic deeds and so forth. It also could fly. I started by figuring out how I would do the oars, since that's one of the most important parts. I knew I couldn't do a true Greek trireme, because trireme indicates three banks of oars. However, I figured with just one bank, it would still give a good representative idea of how a trireme would really look. In the end, I decided to use 1 by 12 Technic axles, and I mounted 12 on each side of the ship. I just barely had enough. I then built the frame of the ship using plates and mounted the oars on the sides. I then began considering how to create the front curve of the ship. Now, it's very, very difficult to make a curve with Legos, and I fi figured that it would just be impractical to try for the front prow of the ship. So instead, I used a staggering technique, placing bricks at a slowly increasing angle like this to create the front curve. I then mounted every single one of these sloped angles that I could find sideways on it to give the cur upward curve of the ship. Next, I worked on the head. I started out by building the top of the head. I then placed the bottom with the bottom lip on as a basic frame for it. Then, I dropped lips along the side, like this. I used some old school bending hinges to make the curve of the jaw, like this. I then worked on the sides, adding the eye. Then, I built a special set of eyebrows using these panels and rocking bricks and attached them over the eyes as eyebrows. I added a bit more greebling on the, no on the nose and then added the tip of its snout, once again attaching it by means of some clip hinges. I then added panels on it, the side of its throat using rocking bricks to angle it into place. I dropped a plate on the side of the jaw to smooth the transition between the throat armor and the eye, and then clipped a basic frame on the back to create the back of the head and to hold it in place. After I finished Festus's head, I then worked my way down the model, just designing basic deck elements, and then worked my way to the control center in the back. I then designed the tail of the Argo, which helped to pull together the front and the back by making the dragon's tail and the dragon's head. I then built the little ballisti along the side of the deck. I designed the ballisti using a bunch of old school pieces. I started off by using the camera piece, a excellent little sideways building piece to mount the ballisti bolt within, and then used these strange old-school smooth levers as the wings of the bow. In the back, using more side layers building, I attached the handle to position the ballisti and also attached a little control panel using a clip hinge. They're small little things, but they do the trick nicely. And I think they're kind of fun. I built the deck while using smooth plates on the frame of the ship to allow each segment to be modular, to be pulled off to see the inside. This is a very common trick in most models, but it's really useful in larger scale like these, so that you can really get in and play with the models. There isn't that much fun stuff 
inside the ship. And I didn't use any particularly fancy techniques, just basic stuff, so I won't go into much detail about the rooms. Finally, I worked on the sail, which was a very difficult part. I originally considered just using a piece of cloth to make it, but in the end, I used a much more complicated technique, which I think pays off. So let's just take a quick look, shall we? If you look closely on the sail, you'll realize it's all brick-built. However, it also has a very gentle curve to it. If you look on the back, you can see it's just a bunch of plates. Using these old-fashioned bendy hinges from the 90s, I clipped together various segments of cloth, little segments of plates, which I then attached into one long beam, which made a nice, smooth curve. Using just about every smooth hinge in my collection, I managed to make the nice curve of the sail. However, my original mast was just one long beam, and it was very weak. The weight of the sail was very heavy. Kind of ironic, eh? And I needed some sort of support. So, I used a giant Technic beam I built using a whole bunch of crossover beams clipped together and fit it along the sail to give some extra support. I worked on this model for about 24 man hours over the course of about three weeks to a month. Personally, my favorite part is Festus's head, which was by far the most fun to build with the possible exception of the engine room, since there was so much little greebling to do. But now, I want to hear what you think. I've told you about the Argo, and I've showed it to you, but what do you like about it, and what do you not? What suggestions do you have for me? All of you out there, my fellow builders, are brilliant, and I want to hear what you think would make this model better. If you did in fact like this model, or my video, please comment, rate, or subscribe. If you didn't like this video, or my model, still, please comment and rate, and if you really want, still, please subscribe too. The point is, I want to hear what you have to say would make this channel, or my model, different and better. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you all farewell. My name is Archimedes36, and I'll see you next Sunday.